We always encourage grant seekers to start their research by looking at government funding sources, as these sources can often provide most, if not all, the funding that you need. So go to the U.S. state government page, select California, and you'll immediately see that the state offers food and agriculture grants under sciences and social services and environment and animals. Now, clicking on this link, this will take us to the California Department of Food and Agriculture page, which has grants listed, including the California Farm to School Incubator Program. Now, this source is well worth more investigation for our project. Now, you can also go back to the California page and search for funding opportunities under other areas, such as social services, under social services and issues, and see what other funding opportunities may be available that match the scope of our project. Now, looking at federal opportunities, knowing that the California grants were funded under the California Department of Food and Agriculture, we can look at the United States Department of Agriculture for good matches. Let's select them from the agency's drop-down box. Now, we can first look at the National Institute of Food Agriculture. We can see that there's a listing for the Gus Shoemaker Nutrition Incentive Program, Produce Prescription Program. This funding opportunity would be a great fit for our project. Now, the federal government often has extensive eligibility requirements, so it's really smart to look here first. Also, look at their award information. Now, though we encourage you to always look at government funding opportunities first, today we'll just show you the depth and breadth of our U.S. charitable giving database. For this food security project, you may want to start your search by looking at both national funders, those that give in all 50 states, and funders that give specifically to California. Now, then you can select under areas of interest, then social services and issues, then food access. And you'll get about 77 funders, which is really too many to review. Your time is precious, so we really need to narrow the results a bit. Let's go down to targeted population. Let's select Hispanic. And that, as you can see, now narrows our field down. Now, let's take a closer look right here at the Walmart Foundation. Now, as you can see, this funder has a healthier food for all program. It's national, and to apply, we'd have to demonstrate that this is a pilot project and that the organization is looking to serve dozens, if not hundreds, of other communities across California. Let's take a closer look to see if this would really fit within their areas of interest. Now, looking at their website here, Let's look at the healthier food for all section under their application guidelines. Okay, and right here on this page, they state, we are prioritizing investments in rural geographies and in racial and ethnic communities that continue to experience disproportionate rates of food insecurity. So even though we need to do more research, let's go ahead and save these folks to our personal dashboard. Okay, let's go back into another quick search clear all this out. And this time, let's look under environment and animals, and we're going to choose organic farming local food. Now, as long as you're sure that you have California and national selected as well, we now have about 57 results. Most of these are funders that have not shown up in previous searches. So we could, of course, narrow this down considerably by adding Hispanics under our targeted population. Now we're looking at about four. Maybe we look at these potential funders first, then we can broaden the search if we don't find exactly what we need. But if you don't come up with a strong set of potential funders, what do you do? Now, in that initial search, we combine targeted populations of Hispanics, areas of interest, which is food access and food security, and a geographic scope across the U.S. and California. To find additional funders, we'll need to look at our project from a different angle, not using food access and security as a major search term. Ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing. Now, in other words, what community needs are you attempting to address? So in this case, the organization is helping communities build their own community gardens. So let's go ahead and clear out and do a new search. 
Another interesting way you can search GrantStation is by keyword. Let's just type in garden in the keyword search box. We've now found about 138 funders. Let's narrow that down by adding California under geographic scope. Now we've cut it down to about 26, which we could definitely lower by adding more search terms if we want. There's a broad range of funding opportunities here, but there is a theme that crops up with these funders. They want children and youth to be involved so that they may help you determine your overall approach. Researching and finding new grant opportunities on GrantStation is easy and quick and fun. This initial search is what we call primary research. As a member of GrantStation, you'll also learn all about secondary research, which is the next step in this efficient research process.